behavioral auto technician of Laguna Heights reminds you to be ready for the hot days of summer. Get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow. All types of maintenance from Paris for your auto and truck. Air conditioning, heating, tune-ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems. Let's down. replace it's on the, car. the CB it's joint. Joint this uh this is a geo uh geo uh, Chevy tracker. We're gonna have to remove these two bolts that holds the the strut or the shock and because there's no way we can remove this bottom part because the bolt joint to that side not backwards from upside upside, upside down. Um, we're gonna have to remove it from here on the on the shock absorber. But I'm gonna remove this uh, caliper and the bracket so I can replace this one too. You don't have to remove the the rotor to replace the um, the CB joint but right now I'm gonna replace the, the rotor too because as you can see it's really bad it's real bad so um, you just need to take this eight bolts off and remove this cover and take the the locking ring inside Right now I'm going to remove this one because I'm going to have to um, replace this rotor. Let me remove the caliper first. The bracket and then I'm going to remove these two. These two bolts. But first I'm going to apply paint. I'm going to apply paint right here on this part. I need to put it back on the same marks so not uh, interfere with the alignment because I'm going to remove this one and maybe the alignment is not going to be right so I'm going to remove this caliper and then remove these two bolts right here oh there's no good this this one okay working any paint you have just paint this so you can put the part bar back on its on its same mark see right there let it dry. We're gonna remove the caliper. Let the paint dry. Okay, we need to open the the bleeder first, so we can push the piston back in. As I told you before, never push the piston with the with the breather closed because all the dirt is right here. It's gonna be it's going to be right here on the hose back to the master cylinder or back to the ABS module. And you can cause damage to the ABS module. So it's better to open the bleeder to get all the dirt out all right in 
and the bleeder is a number 10 on this car. Sometimes they're number 8. Right now it's number 10. The pen to catch the fluid. It's a little bit hard, so I'm gonna hit it like that. Alright. Now we can push the piston back in. Gabriel Auto Technician at Laguna Heights remind you to be ready for the hot summer. Let's push the piston back in place. Auto and air conditioning, heating, tune-ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems, fan belts, ball joints. If it's on the car, Gabriel Auto will fix it or replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician. All right. Highway 100. Highway 100 in Laguna. It's all the way in. Now let's get this tight. Wait until there's no bubbles coming out from the bleeder. But when there's no bubbles, you can tighten the bitter. And there will be no air inside the caliper. Okay. Now we can remove the, cal the uh, caliper. We need to get the wire to hang the caliper. We're gonna remove the caliper and put the wire so we can hang it. Right there. I need to remove these two. These two bolts that holds the brake caliper bracket. To remove the bracket and it's number 19 okay get a little bit loose and then It's a little bit rusty too. Rusty and dirty. We don't have to remove the the rotor to replace the CP joint. But I replace the, the rotor too. That's why I'm removing. Okay. 
Okay, we got it off. It's a little bit rusty. It doesn't Okay, now we can slide the rotor off from the car. And let's remove these two. See, let's put some WD-40 to help slide from the rusty thread Gabriel Auto Technician of Laguna Heights reminds you to be ready for the hot days of summer get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow all types of maintenance from Paris to Auto we're going to need a wrench to hold it on the other side this is the number 17 the, the other side is the same size, 17. Oh. We take all the power off the other day. I'm going to have to use a brute force because it doesn't want to get loose maybe I can use the big impact the big one big impact, impact wrench This one. to hit push the bolt to that side let's see if there are loose in here we can hit it on the nut we can put the nuts we'll see if, if it's loose if we can lose it yeah it gets out not this one not this one so I'm gonna have to use uh, another another we can use another bolt or we can use something to hit it right here on this part. There's a it's a this bolt it's pointy. Maybe we can hit it like a little bit. No. There's no way. Okay. Maybe it's rusty in there. See, right here. This one. its bracket 
and see if uh, I can remove not remove but I see if I can turn if I can turn the the bolt because I think it's rusty inside yeah it's going put the jack on this part because the spring is making a pressure see Try to remove it without taking the the outer tie rod. See, I'm gonna try to get it out like without taking the outer tie rod. I'm gonna remove these six bolts. Number ten. side.
Now we need to remove this locking ring. This one, which is holding the CB joint in place. And I'm trying to remove it without removing this uh, tie rod, outer tie rod. If not, if if doesn't, if it's not enough space, I'm gonna have to remove it so I can bend this one more. But uh, I think it, I can get it out there. And as you can see. The CB joint it's already out from here which is not supposed to be that easy to just pulling this some sometimes it's easy just pulling that but it's already out with just with just this movement as you can see I'm gonna check if it's got the locking ring inside because it's rare Usually it's not that easy to get out. Maybe somebody removed the locking ring inside. Never know. We're gonna see it. Okay. Bigger in the diameter, and it was uh, bigger and, and it was thinner. it out and on the other side remember this other uh, spacer won't fit anymore because the other shaft was shorter shorter than this one okay now I'm gonna push it in to try to get it out and like I say right here it's out already no there's no way I can get it out right there. I'm gonna need to remove the outer tie rod. I wanna save a little bit of time, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you can't. Let's remove this outer tie rod nut. size but it's rusty because uh, if I in case I miss a strike I don't want to damage the thread See? so right now I'm going to hit it right here 
right here. See? And I didn't put my safety glasses. I all the time use them, but I didn't have my gloves and I didn't have my safety glasses. So now we have more space so we can slide the CB joint out. Still not enough space. Let me lower the, the jack a little bit. See if it's got a little bit more, more room. If not, I'm gonna have to remove this lower bolt joint nut. And I'm gonna have to remove this uh, ABS brake sensor. Right now it went all the way. Let me lower a little bit. Let me take it down. Lower the... Alright, right there. Take this bracket off. Gabriel Auto okay. Technician of Laguna Heights reminds you to be ready for the hot days. Let's see. Get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow. All types of maintenance repairs for no. air conditioning, heating, tune ups, brakes, transmission, cooling system. Still not enough space. It's on the car. Gabriel Let me show you. It's right there. Barely you can see the spline. So, we're gonna have to remove this lower bolt joint nut. Let me remove this sensor. I don't wanna break the break the sensor or the wire so let me remove this bolt this bracket so I can lower it a little bit more because there's no way I can get it out here and I don't want to break the sensor I'm gonna have to disconnect the, the sensor from the connector Because I'm gonna have to remove this knuckle. See, it's full of sand wherever you touch. Let me disconnect the sensor right there so I can remove this nut and take the the knuckle down. All right, we have the sensor disconnected. And my camera is going to turn off because it's got the limit time. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this nut. Let's put the nut back 
in a little a few threads and now let's hit right here on this part If you leave the nut, it it works two two things: holds the knuckle, and it takes care of the thread in case you miss the a strike. Now we can remove the the knuckle out. A little bit of more work. Now, like I say, this. CB joint is not supposed to get off easily, that easy, but I'm not sure. See, it gets locked in. <laughs> right now I'm going to remove it, it gets locked. That's my lock. Okay, I'm going to hit it right here, see if it comes up. No. Look right there. Yeah, it's got the locking ring, but I don't know why it's not. It comes real easy the first time. Comes out easy. So now let's slide the new CB joint in. Yeah, let's, let's get them. New CV joint. Gabriel Auto, fix it or replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100, Laguna Heights. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100 in